In this video, I'll show you how to hide the unused or unwanted button in your model driven app using Ribbon Workbench. Now, just to give you an example on the application. So this is the application which I'm currently building. Now this list on the airlines, list of airlines. Uh, it has list of aircraft models, flying classes, some custom page and all those information. But if you go into one of the table like say airlines if i go into one of the record i can see uh, my uh, form controls over here and the business logic which i am implementing in the model driven app now i can see a lot of buttons in the ribbon now these are some of the custom buttons which i have created so i'm okay with it but there are some out of the box buttons like save save and close uh, deactivate uh, and then and then if you click on this meat ball over here you can see a whole bunch of things over here right now these are some of the actions which i may never use okay now what if i want to get rid of this action now out of the box you cannot do anything uh, using uh, the inbuilt feature set of power platform but using ribbon workbench i should be able to hide some of the things now say in my example say use case i want to hide say flow or a word template or a run report or maybe I want to hide the delete button, okay? Now, some of the things, you know, it is operated using a security role as well. So you should not perform that action using Ribbon Workbench, like if it is a delete thing, if it is something related to creation, like a new button, creation, or edit, or uh, say, uh, assign, okay? Now, all these things can be controlled. Some of things can be controlled using security role. So you should avoid using uh, the ribbon workbench to show or hide but there are some things like flow or word templates or run report uh, these are the things which you can you know like easily show or hide so in my example what i'll do is like i'll try to hide the flow word template and run report using the ribbon workbench uh, so let's see how we can do that now i even i have a button over here save and close now if i don't want save and close to be shown uh, then I can show or hide using the ribbon workbench. So let's attempt that. Now, in order to do that, first, what you need to do is like you need to install ribbon workbench. Now, I have made use of XRM toolbox. So XRM toolbox has one of the utility named as ribbon workbench. So if you uh, have not yet installed, I would encourage you to install ribbon workbench. And then once you install it, it will ask you for a solution. Now the solution, I have already created a solution. Now the solution is very simple. Now the solution should only contain the table which you for which the ribbon you want to update. Now remember when you create that solution, that solution table uh, should not contain any objects. It, it should be a simple table. It, is not it should not contain any metadata attached to it. Now once you do that, you select the appropriate ribbon you want to update now in our case it is a form ribbon because we are going inside a record so we are not operating on the ribbon outside of that grid okay so we are not updating this ribbon rather we are going inside a record so that's a form record and then we are updating the ribbon so the goal is to basically hide some of the things now i want to hide the save and close i want to hide the flow I want to hide the word template run report so in order to do that let's go into the ribbon workbench and now select this form okay so now you are in the proper entity so this is that proper entity and now here there are a couple of things which you can hide so i have the save and close now if i want to hide the save and close i will just select this okay so you just select this button do a right click and just say hide so i'm hiding this Now, the moment you click hide, you see that red stroke, okay? So this red stroke indicates that this button is hidden. Now, if you go into the solution elements, you will also see one more component over here, which is like basically the action which you have just performed. You have said save and close, I want to hide it. Yes, you can go ahead and so it has automatically uh, created this action, okay? Hide actions. Now, going forward, we also said that we want to hide a couple of other things. So if I just scroll, I'll say, maybe I'll just select this flows, you know, I don't want the flows option to be visible. So I'll just do a right click and say hide. The moment you do that, you will see this option over here. 
I'll click on this flow and I'll say, okay, I want to hide this. Let me hide that as well. Then there is a word template. I don't want the word template even to appear. Uh, I can go ahead and do that. I can go to run report. I can even do that. Uh, so whatever thing you want, you can just click run report. I don't want to see this information. Then you can scroll. And then there are other options as well. Like as you see, customize entity, form editor, mail merge, uh, all these things, you can just do right click and do a hide and then you will see all this hide actions over here once you are done with all these things you can just go ahead and uh, publish your solution now there is a run workflow as well i'll just do a right click i'll do a hide so we have done enough hiding of the actions the actions available out of the box let me just publish this solution so once you publish the solution, the ribbons will be built uh, internally. It is basically like updating the XML in the backend, collating all this information, what to show, what to hide. And once that is done, the solution will be imported and the solution will be published. Now, after a while, what should happen once everything is done, you should not be able to see save and close. You should not be able to see flow word template run report all this option so basically you are doing a cleanup of the interface now i have this requirement from one of my uh, client uh, that uh, i can see so many options the user might get confused with all this thing what to do why don't you hide this yes we can use ribbon workbench and hide some of the components which you see over here and it is always a good uh, uh, presentation for the end user like if users see so many buttons happening within the uh, interface they might get confused so you just show only the things which the user wants okay some of the things which i mentioned to you like the delete thing like this is a special case or a new one now this all operates as a part of security role so instead of showing or hiding using a hard-coded uh, ribbon workbench functionality i would say rather use a custom security role and attach that security role to a specific user or a teams and then uh, perform that action but other than that you can make use of ribbon workbench however there are some things which you can even operate through miscellaneous privileges as well but in my demonstration i'm just showing you a couple of options which should be hidden let's see the ribbon workbench i think everything looks good now it has already published the solution so now what should happen is like once you refresh your screen you should not be able to see all those relevant buttons now as you see the save and close has disappeared now you cannot see save and close let's click on this three dots and now you see the flow the word template the uh, there were other options it's now removed it's all gone so this is how you have cleaned up the interface so the goal of this particular engagement was to show you how do you clean the unwanted ribbon items which the user of your application which may never use this in their lifetime so if you do not want those functionality you can just go ahead and remove it now there are a couple of things which we have kept like assign deactivate now even you have an option to remove this as well so assign and deactivate now if you want to do that go into your ribbon workbench select the proper tab and then try to find that particular uh, button right so assign or deactivate now if you see here assign you can just go over here do a right click and click on hide okay and by this you can disable this particular button now similarly you have other things over here there is a service appointment there is a form editor there is a publish all customization so you can find that specific control within the ribbon and then you just do what you do is just do a right click so you see the deactivate just do a right click and click on hide and then that will deactivate that particular button you click on publish it will start building the application again and then once you refresh it once the publish is done you should be you should not be able to see all the other things so that's it folks this is how you used use hide buttons to basically hide the unwanted button in your model driven app using the ribbon workbench. Thanks for watching.